Hey everyone, I'm very excited to be here. So I'm very excited to be here. We are gonna to talk today about pricing your offer and uh, just getting some notes here from Facebook, which don't help. So I just got back from the gym, so me like just worked out, ready to go. And today on pricing offers, this is a big thing. A lot of people get caught up in how much should I charge? What do I do? And you know, is, is it too much? Is it too little? What does it mean when nobody's responding to how much I'm charging? Totally get it. So what you want to do is think about it to a couple different ways. When it comes to pricing offers, there's two real ways to go about pricing. And then there's the third way <laughs> and I'll walk you guys through it. So the, I'm just going through my notes here. So the first one is cost pricing. Basically you think about how much something costs you and you add a percentage to it. A great way of thinking about that is Amazon, right? You buy something online, you know, you can price around, but there's always like a little upsell to it. They always add a, let's say 10, 20, 30, 40%, whatever it is to the cost. And that's called cost pricing. So when it comes to the world of online entrepreneurs and coaching, we really don't often need to do that. Like most of our items are digital, right? So there's really not a cost. Maybe it's the price of the program that you bought, but you can factor that in, but then you extrapolate it over how many people you wanna work with and whatever. It's kind of like a built-in price. The next one is going to be called um, value-based pricing. This is kind of where things get a little wonky and where option three seems to show up. So value-based pricing is the value the customer places on an item, not you, the customer. That means that you're gonna go, you don't try to figure it out based on like, I think this is worth this. That's worth, that seems to be option three, <laughs> but it's really more what a client says the value is. And the best way to think about that is through real estate. So if you have a house and you put it up for sale and you want to get a million billion dollars for it, but every house in the neighborhood is going for 400,000 and you've listed your house for a million, even if your house is made of solid gold, the chances are you're not going to get a million dollars because the value in that area as determined by the client is less than what you seem to think it is. And real estate really is a perfect example of that so that's going to be called value based pricing the customer determines the value the other one is going to be cost pricing that's where the actual product cost determines the price that you're going to make it and then we have the third option so this seems to be the illegal option here in the world of coaching which is i want to make x amount of dollars how many people do i need to work with to get that that's my price so let's do some math so let's say, I, I actually wrote this out. So let's say you wanna make $120,000. People seem to be obsessed with six figures. I don't know why. They've done studies and basically if you make, I think it's like 70K, there's really not a vast difference, but whatever. So let's say you wanna make $120,000 a year. So, and you wanna work, I don't know, you think about how many clients you wanna work with a month and currently you're really just doing one-on-one -on -one and you're working, you meet with them four times a month. So you're like, I can do 10 hours a week. By the way, you might want to look at that and say to yourself, why am I only working 10 hours a week? But let's just go with, you have 10 clients. You're wanting to do 10 clients and you want to make $120,000. So how much are you charging these people? You're going to try to charge them $1,000 a month. Now, that is a high number. So when you think about it, because you have to think about it from your client's perspective. They don't know you they don't know what you can do and unless your offer comes with like um i don't like to say guarantees because honestly what can you truly guarantee like unless you actually unless the client's going to do the work how can you guarantee a result right so the guarantee is on them like are they going to actually do it are they going to step forward and do the work but so if you're asking someone for a thousand dollars they're going to want to know like who you are what your background is, what they're going to be getting out of this. And here's a fun thing. You have to find 10 more people just like them. So you need to find 10 people who are willing to give you $1,000 each a month, and you need to retain them. So when we're thinking about that sort of thing, all of a sudden it's like, wait a second, 
I only have a program that I want to do for like three months. So that means that you have to, at month two, start prospecting again, trying to find them. So you have a three month program. That means every, basically you're with the people for one month and then you're immediately into prospecting again. So maybe that's part of the other 30 hours a week that you could be working with clients. Instead, you're going to be prospecting. So we have 10 hours of client, 30 hours of prospecting, and you're making 120 a year, but you are ki killing yourself to get there. Okay. That's an option. Alternatively, you can look at what is really going on. So when you look into the market, you want to look at what are people re seeing the value as? How much are people truly spending? You'll see a lot of people making big claims about, I'm charging $5,000 know, a minute for people to come to work with me. That's nice. How many people are doing that? Like no one. Like Or they'll say like, I've made $50,000 this week. Have you? No, you haven't. Like just don't believe any of that. Don't believe the fluff. Look at what people are truly doing. So most people in the coaching world are not hitting six figures, guys. That's reality. Most people are not hitting six figures. And if that's not something that you absolutely need in order to have a great life, like you're not willing to kill yourself to get there, then reframe it. Maybe you could also look into doing group programs. They're fantastic. So it's a way of getting a bulk number of people at a lower price and you can still make the same amount of money. So let's go look more at this. So you have to think about like when you're making an offer, let's say you're offering someone $1,000 for a month. And it's a $12,000 a year program. And you keep on hearing no. Everyone's like, no, 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 no. Hear it from the market. The market's telling you that's not good. It's too high. It also is telling you that you're not doing a value proposition. They don't understand the value in what you're offering. So you need to work on that. The next thing you have to hear is if you hear all yeses, let's say you're selling it for, you know, $100 a month and everyone's like, heck yeah, I'm on board. Probably too low, right? <laughs> like if everyone's saying yes, it's too low. If everyone's saying no, it's too high. Let the market dictate what your pricing is. You want to be kind of be like, you want to get like no's and yeses. You shouldn't be an endless hell yeah. And it shouldn't be an all hell no. So you want to think about like, where's that middle ground where it's too much for some people it's too low for some people. It's just right for some. That's a sweet spot, right? That's how you're going to figure it out. And the other thing you want to think about is, can I deliver this value? So you might say to yourself, I believe my program's worth a million dollars. I believe it's worth a thousand dollars a month. Okay. But one, can you actually say that to someone? Are you able to say with a straight face and with confidence that you want a thousand dollars a month? Because if you can't do that, they're not going to buy it. Because one of the things we talk about in class is about confidence and how confidence is a key component in selling. You have to be confident in what you're saying. And if you are not confident and you say things like, it's a thousand dollars a month or a thousand, nobody's buying it from you because they don't believe that you know that this is actually worth that. Probably because you don't, because you're just still testing out the waters, which is fine to do. Test the waters. You can do tiered pricing and see which one lands and make different offers at each tier, lower, middle, which is probably the one that you really are thinking about doing, and high, which is like, if somebody does it, that's like a miracle. So you wanna think about tiered. You wanna think about if you can deliver the value that you're asking for, can you actually say it with confidence? And I want you to really remember, let's go back to real estate, just because you think it's worth it, doesn't mean anyone else does. I know that's a harsh thing to hear, but just because you think it's worth it doesn't mean anyone else does. That's the real estate understanding of pricing. You need to look at what do others see the value as. It's not about your time that you put into it. It's not about your energy that you put into it. It's about what they perceive value because people pay for that perception. So you need to look at that as well. And then I also want you to think about like, what does it take to actually solve this problem from their perspective? Like, if you offer an, a one hour rate, can you really solve someone's problem in one hour? Are you shortchanging them? I mean, is that really good? Think about that. Is it better for you to offer a course? Do you have a course? If not, you should jump into the signature course. We're teaching with Harley's teaching that, you know, but if you have a signature course and you know that it takes three months to get through it and your offer is for one month, because you want to price it so that people can afford it for a month, are you doing anyone any favors? 
No, no, you're not. Because you know they need it for three months, so maybe you can offer it for less for three month package. So think about that as well. Like what are they getting out of it? And where can you price it so that it actually makes sense for the consumer? Because they're the ones who are gonna give you the perceived value. Make sure that you're expressing the actual benefits to what you're offering so that they understand you're communicating the value. And then you wanna be able to confidently say the value. So you need to have those components in place in order to really, really make a strong offer. I think, ah, the last one. Sorry, I did almost forget. So the last thing to remember is your audience. A lot of times you guys, you guys are so like such good heart-centered people and you want to help people that are struggling. Like you're thinking, I really want to help, you know, impoverished single moms who just got out of an abusive relationship. And I know that I can help them get into the life they want. I've done it for myself. So therefore I really want to help somebody else do this too. And I know I would have paid a thousand dollars a month for this. Great. You would have paid it, but could you have paid it? If your audience is impoverished single moms getting out of abusive relationships, do you honestly think they have an extra thousand dollars a month? Think about your audience as well. Who are you targeting and what is in their reality? What do they consider pricey? What do they consider affordable? Those are how you get it all together. So you want to put those little pieces together and then create your offer. So look at what the market's offering, not what people are saying, but what's really out there. Um, you can, if you want to, you can actually go to people's different like that you admire or people that you see as peers and go do a, a session with them not a paid session an enrollment call and see what their offer is you know be open about it and it'll help you also understand the enrollment process a little bit more you can do that you need to really see what people are really doing you need to understand their actual close rate that means how many people convert off their offer because if they're making a crazy high offer and nobody's buying it it might sound great but it's not selling. And that, my friends, is not a business. That's a really expensive and disappointing hobby. I hope that this was helpful. Uh, if you want more information and you want to check out, we're going to dive more into offers in class and kind of go through this a little bit more and help people figure out exactly what their offers should be, testing out ideas. We're going to be doing that in class. So if you're interested, make sure that you join. We're doing a two-week trial right now. It's $19 up until Wednesday. And then the price is going up, so make sure you jump on that before then. And it's at ucochia.com slash summit. I'll make sure to put the link below. Okay, guys, have yourselves an amazing day. And get ready to make those offers. Say it with confidence. Be confident about it. Bye.